I'm really grateful to God because, um, you know what? He gave me a chance uh, to spend nine months with my wife before she died. Um, I'm so grateful to the Lord because um, at first I thought, like, why God? Why, why do I have to have this pain? You know, and um, but you know, when I look back, I know why God had um, me go through this uh, surgery and everything else. It was to spend the time with my wife and uh, just enjoy her company, her and I, and, uh, and I'm so grateful for that. I, I just so grateful to my Lord for just giving me that time with her. She was a mother t to everyone. She was a good mother and, and um, she was well loved by all. I miss her so much and I hope that I can, I can be half the person she was with her kindness and her giving nature and her love. I, I hope that I can be that kind of person and I can reflect just a piece of her to all of you and to all my friends and family and all the people that I, I, I come into contact with. I hope that I can reflect that, how she raised us and how she loved us. Like my mom's life reminded everybody that, you know, our God is a God of love and that's why she was capable of incredible love. Also, our God is a God of miracles and that's why me and my siblings are here and that's why I look out here and so many lives are touched when they shouldn't have been because she, she and God somehow made it so that she could still be here and um, do what she did. And, like I said, I thank you guys for all being here and being part of that miracle. I went out and we'll try to hold it together. But it's hard to do that now. And I told my wife, I said, Have I been that good husband to you? And she looked at me and she goes, You have been a terrific husband. And uh, she, then we cried again, and um, and then I told her I love you, and she said I love you too. And um, the nurse said it's time to go. And as I was walking out, um, my wife said, please, please, um, take care of my grandson Noah. And um, and I looked at my wife and I said, don't worry about it. I'll take care of him. So he is the verse that I picked out and, uh, and which means a lot to me. John 11:25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Now what this verse means is that Jesus is the resurrection and that we don't have to be sad about if someone dies in our family because we know that one day we'll, we'll see them in heaven. Just too far away. That Laura is in a better place. Laura is in heaven. And she's rejoicing. She's not missing us, probably, because now she's in the presence of the Almighty. Amen. And that's the joy that we carry, that we know that she's in perfect peace. And, and as much as we're going to miss her, she's where she needs to be. So we cry you know, I, I just thought about it and I said, God is good, you know, he is, he is faithful. And he gave me that five minutes, he gave me that nine months with my wife, you know. 
And I'm gonna tell you guys that are married, you know, don't take your spouse for granted because you know what? You don't know how long you're gonna have them for. Love your spouse because that way you don't have any regrets. I don't have regrets because I love my wife with all my heart and I don't have regrets. Oh